see the pink? It's several places there, there. Eh. Oh, it's in the tree too. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll use it in a box over there or something. All right, we just got to keep going, that's for sure. All right, so I am going to skip over both of those. Um, because the red's so prominent in that. But that is that tomato we red, y'all. I don't know. We'll just have to put it over there somewhere. Okay, so there's that one. It's also very hard working around this pole. I don't know if y'all can tell that because I can't see. I can't see what I'm doing. Let me see if I move it back. Did that just get out of focus for you guys? Hopefully not. Um, it's going to be a little too far, but I'm doing it. And this, I know you're just going, um, this is not exactly entertainment to us to watch you put stickers down for things that are quite difficult to even see. Oh, and that's cut weird. Don't you think? I think it is. Oh well, done. It kind of looks like a little row of Christmas lights, you know? But uh, we're getting it. We're getting it. Giddy, giddy, giddy. Okay. Oh my gosh, the last two are always the worst because it's the two little teensy weensy ones. But we're making it happen because we're incredible. Oops, up a little. Actually, because of this, this little line design, it's not nearly as bad to work with. I say that before I did the last one. There. Okay, so we're going to use this little holly-ish one now. Right here. thick one where you don't have to work so hard at it. <laughs> Uh-oh, and he's a little too high. But I do think repositioning these is not a good idea, so we'll we'll work with it. We'll stick her over it. <laughs> you know, in life, a lot of times, what you have to end up doing is figuring out what you can make work when something's not working out very well. And so, uh, you know, getting things perfect isn't always an option. Um, you can try to go back and make things perfect and sweat it and make yourself miserable or um, and sometimes it's worth it because when you're done it's just like oh my gosh that looks perfect and you're so proud of it um, whatever the thing is whether it's a piece of art maybe whether it's work or a report or you know who knows what it is um, okay am I going to do the plaid that's what was right next to it in this, and it looked good, so, okay. We're going to do this. We're going to use the plaid. But anyway, sometimes it is better to just um, not get so crazy about things being perfect. And actually enjoy things. Have y'all noticed I'm going uphill, it seems, on this? That's because it's so hard to do this from the side, but, you know, wee wee wee. Shut up, complaining. Especially when it's raining. <laughs> don't, don't, don't laugh at me. Uh, these don't seem to be adding up as far as the patterns. I wonder if that's part of it. it looks kind of weird to me. I have to tell you guys, I'm going to be glad when I'm through with the full boxes. And usually that's my favorite part. But considering I am building full boxes out of washi tape... And it's so tedious. This has not been my favorite part. My favorite part is going to be when I actually get to put that sticker on. Right there. The truck. Let me zoom out a little. Just a little. Um, can y'all still see? Good. I hope you can. Just want you to really enjoy the truck. <laughs> 
I think I also saw that exact same truck and fox on Elle Fowler's mystery kit. One of her mystery kits or something. And so it makes me wonder how all this stuff works. Do they all buy it from the same place? Because you'll see, a lot of the times you will actually see stuff that, um, you know, it looks like it came from, um, they like they all got the same pattern and just did it in different colors. So I don't know how Etsy works, but apparently maybe they all have to go someplace and buy a pattern. I don't know. I don't know. I just started doing Sunday without asking your permission. I'm just doing it. Yep. Working on Sunday. But not literally. <laughs> it's working. Yeah, we got to get the pink in there because we're going to throw some presents in over there. And the little presents on the Planner and Junkie art, clip art piece, or whatever you call that. I call it clip art. Um, Uh-oh, we got some sticking going on here with these. Don't y'all start that. Don't you make it even harder. You already didn't provide me some full boxes. I remember being so surprised when I got these, but I went back and looked at the order, and nowhere did it say there was any full boxes. Just said washi and clip art, or art, kit, sampler kit, whatever. But like, what would you? What did this originally go with? I would assume there was a, a kit that went with this. It, I bet it was really cute. I'm sure it was this exact same thing that I'm laying down. Well, it actually fit because it wasn't washy, spaced out. <laughs> My stomach hurts. My tummy hurts. Okay. So we've got that. And I'm thinking for some red, I may put red over here, just to keep the red in the picture. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the background's even going to be, so I'm just going to do this. Whoops. I want one red box down here. And I may balance it by putting something red on the other side, maybe. But I do want to keep this red kind of prominent. Just not... Because it is an, the orangey red that kind of all goes together in this. Um, I just noticed something that you can even make a mash on the, on the uh, matte paper that kind of shows a crimp or whatever. And that shows as bad as it would as if it were glossy. Because there's a crimp right there that I just made. That's not cool. Okay, so we're almost through in um, making our boxes, and I will be so glad. We, we've already gone into the second video, so I am, again, I'm not sure when it changed over because it doesn't notify me. <laughs> All right, so, really weird way to start it off. It'll be very interesting to see how this goes. So... Let's go ahead and use from um, Little Paper Prints. We're going to stay away from this burgundy, but we still can use the green, the navy, and this kind of tannish uh, color. So I am going to do that. Wow, this is going to be kind of weird. Which one will be the, t the, na the tan? So it'll be tan, green, navy, tan, Green, no, navy green. Hmm. Just gonna do it. Yeah, here it goes. I'm gonna do the tan first, and I hope it goes to the bottom of the um the thingy. Does it go? Hmm. Close enough. And then we're gonna do green right here. And the green's a little off, but that's okay. We did that last week, and it looked great when we were finished. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. The navy may be a little bit off. But again, that's okay. There we go. Perfection is not what we seek here. All right. Um... Go. 
right. And what do we do next? Green. I feel like the navy should be next, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Maybe that green would go better. It would. What would happen if I switch it up? Because that's got navy in it. No, it doesn't. Oh, well, just do it. Just keep it in the same color order. There's absolutely no navy in the last one. So that's kind of weird looking to me. I feel like that would have looked better. What do you think? I do. I feel like I want to switch it up, y'all. Is that so wrong? Hmm. What do I want to do? It's just going to be what it is. Okay, and then remember on Sunday, we never put a list of things to do because it's a day of rest and worship, and that's just not what we're there for. So, Okay, and then I'm going to go back and put my to-dos from this same kit. Uh, there is not today's, but there is to-dos, so we will use that. Whatever you, what would you call this? Like a sand rather than tan? That's what 